Rangers Journal. Hello and welcome to the Rangers Journal. My name is Kai Watson and today we're going to talk about Yusuf Kabadai and the rumour that he might be coming to Rangers. 20 year old spent last season alone at Schalke from Bayern Munich. Had a decent spell in Bundesliga too, and Rangers look set to be trying to bring him to Ibrox for a fee of around 1 to 1.5 million. His contract currently expires in 2025. There were rumours that Bayern were looking to extend, or they might be looking to loan him out with an option to buy. But going by reports in Germany and what was reported by the fourth official today, it seems that Rangers are trying to get a permanent deal done this summer. So let's look into it. So let's look into where the rumour started. So Florian Plettenberg, who works for Sky Sports in Germany, a very well-respected journalist, actually broke the rumour. So he said, News, Kapadai, Glasgow Rangers, St Pauli and Lecce are among concrete suitors for the 20-year-old left winger from FC Bayern. Schalke were interested in exercising their option to buy, however the overall package was too expensive. Meanwhile, talks are ongoing with Bayern, with Eberl and Freund. Everything is possible, a direct sale, along with an option to buy along with a new contract with Bayern, currently valid until 2025. Like I said previously, the contract currently expires in 2025. Obviously, Bayern are looking at the option, potentially giving them a new deal, loaning them out, loaning them out with an option to buy, or just completely selling them this summer. Then the next bit of news from the rumour also states that Schalke did not use the option of Yusuf Kadabai, who performed well this season on the grounds that they found it expensive. One year left in his current contract with Bayern and Lecce Rangers and St Pauli are interested in the player. So obviously Schalke are in some serious financial difficulty after they got relegated from the Bundesliga. They didn't manage to come back up this season, actually had a relatively poor season floating around mid-table and towards the bottom half. So they don't have the funds to make this deal permanent, even though I'm sure it was only around €800,000, maybe eight hundred and fifty k. They didn't have the money to make that permanent, so it now puts the player on the market. 20 years old and obviously unknown from Bayern he's got a bit of something but he seems like a player the Schalke fans are genuinely gutted to be losing out on. They do get quite a young team, they've had quite a lot of young players coming through the likes Kiki top playing up front. So they have given opportunities to younger players to try and break through obviously their financial situation that's more viable for them to kind of bring young players through instead of having to buy players in. So Kabadai was obviously on loan and they wanted to keep him but it wasn't financially viable for them this summer. So the player will head back to Bayern with, again, potentially signing a new deal or heading out this summer, but it does look likely they could be coming to Rangers, going by reports coming from Germany. The latest reports today actually came from the fourth official, and I'll link the video down in the description below, where Gary Morris broke the news that Rangers had put in a bid when it's expected to be around one to one and a half million for the permanent transfer of Yusuf Kadabai to bring him in this summer. Again, a very interesting one. It came from a trusted source, which a lot of the rumours had in this season came from the trusty source in Sky Sports Germany, and it's kind of not went away since then. Bits have popped up here and there. St. Pauli were apparently interested. They've obviously been promoted to the Bundesliga, so they're looking to strengthen for their campaign next season. And obviously, Lecce were interested as well, but Rangers seem to have stolen a march on both other suitors. So before we look at his profile and I'll let you know what I've got to say on, let's look at what some other people have to say. So Jacek Kulic, the football talent scout on Twitter. If you haven't, please go and follow him. Brilliant content, incredible scout. So he had Kadabai as his talent of the day. So he's obviously 20 years old, German-Turkish nationality, 186 centimetres, currently plays for Bayern and loan to Schalke. He can play left wing, right wing, through the middle. He's also played centre mid for Schalke this season. He's got his player role as an inside forward. He's got his strengths as pace, power, dribbling, ball control and athleticism. Sounds brilliant to me. Right-footed, similar type of player, Martin Terrier, if you're aware of Terrier and kind of the spell he had at Ren and now moving on to Leon. It's a really interesting comparison because it's not one that would be made very often, but again, if you're aware of his exploits over the last few seasons, an excellent player that someone I'd be excited to get someone similar into him. And he's got his potential of 7 out of 10. I mean, 7.5 out of 10 when you're getting a player for 1 to 1.5 million, you can't really go wrong there. If he develops a wee bit, potentially sell him for big profit, maybe back to Germany or to the Premier League. So again, could be a good deal. And today on one of our tweets we actually had Alex, who's a Schalke fan, reply. This is what Alex had to say. Kibadai played all so many games I see him at Schalke in the 4-4-2 diamond system because there was no winger in that system. But he's much more offensive than that position. His main problem was consistency. He's really fast, can dribble on good days, and I'm shooting sure develop a nice shot. He's more of an inverse winger off the pitch. He's a hard worker and you can see that on the pitch as well. So those words from both a scout and a Schalke fan are obviously very encouraging. He kind of has some of the attributes that Clement's been looking at this summer. You look at that pace, power, just sheer athleticism. 
Also looking at some of the clips as well, it's clear he's got ability on the ball. Like Alex said, he just needs to find consistency in that final end product and he could be a brilliant player. So let's now have a look at our profile into the player. So Yusuf Kabadai, 20 years old, German, 6 foot 1, spent last season alone at Schalke, transfer market having valued at around 800k, which was supposedly the buy rate for Schalke, which obviously they couldn't afford. Key stats, 23 appearances, only 11 from the start. He managed 4 goals, 0.86 chances created per 90, 47.3% dribble success, over 2 successful dribbles per 90, fell 0.71 times per 90, won 66.7% of tackles and 36.2% of duels. Put him obviously have his position unless he's centre mid there, like Alex said. When they did play the narrow 4-4-2 diamond, they played centre mid there, he also played left wing a few games through the middle and also from the right, so he's very versatile, which is obviously handy for rotation purposes. The main attributes I notice when watching footage is obviously his pace and his power, which has been mentioned before, but just his ability to turn a player, his ability to take a ball in tight spaces and just drive on, turn players inside out. Like has obviously been previously mentioned, there's that consistency and final ball that he needs to work on, but the raw tools are there. He's confident, he's quick, he's tall, powerful, really good on the ball, really quick feet, good at turning players. It's exactly what you want from a winger. And obviously at 20 years old, you're not expecting the finished product, especially if they're going to be coming to Rangers. I know a lot of fans obviously want the end product, but for a 20-year-old that spent last season in low-end Bundesliga 2, you're not going to get the end products, especially for like one and one and a half million. But he's came through Bayern's academy, so they've obviously seen that he has a bit of something. He's shown he has a bit of something at Schalke. Schalke wanted to keep him. They can't afford him. The likes of St. Pauli, Lecce and obviously ourselves were in for him. So it's a player with, I think, really big potential when you look at the kind of frame and the build, that's what you're going to want from a winger, someone that's not just tall and powerful, but also rapid, that can turn a player, that can do something a bit different, just something that's going to win a game at those moments. It might not be consistent, but it does have a moment of magic in him, and it's that type of thing that can turn no points into one or one point into three. It's those moments that Rangers kind of struggle with players last season. You need players capable of those game-winning moments. I think Kabadai could potentially be one of those so looking at this one, I would love to know your thoughts. It was very mixed reactions on Twitter. People obviously watched kind of highlight reels of him and people took certain things away. Obviously, his ability on the ball is clear, his ability to turn the man. Just that lack of end products, obviously, there, and that's what kind of people want, considering what we went through last season. Lack of, obviously, conversion for goals. Loads of big chances missed. Lack of creating chances. It's something fans want more chances created. Want more goals scored. And a lot of people already aren't seeing that, but he's 20 years old. He's obviously came through at Bayern. He's had a decent spell in Bundesliga 2 last season. The raw physical tools are there. He just needs to up the technical game a wee bit. Like I say, he's good with the ball at his feet, but it's more the finishing, the last pass, the last cross, which at 20 years old, you're not going to be the finished product. So it's something you can obviously look to improve over the years. Like I said, please let me know your thoughts down below. Leave in the comments, are you excited for this one? Is it underwhelming for you or do you just really not know how to feel about it because you can't really judge a player until you see him in the Rangers shirt so many times we've been burned by good looking footage, good looking numbers or sometimes you're just completely surprised by a player, you never know. It's a similar situation to Malik Tillman coming in last season. Tillman obviously had a couple of Champions League appearances and first team appearances for Bayern under his belt. So not quite the same, he's not quite as highly thought of as Tillman was last year. But again, he's coming from Bayern. He's not going to have no ability coming from there. So leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know how you're feeling about this one. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.